Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Mackenzie and we are going to get right into class today. So come on down to a seat on your mat, sitting your crossing your legs out in front, drawing your hands off towards the side, and then sweeping your arms up towards the ceiling, clasping the palms, flipping the palms towards the sky, and then drop the hands off towards the right, sitting up tall, feeling a stretch through your left side, and reverse other side. Hands to the left, sitting up tall, feeling the stretch through your right side. One more time each way, hands to the right, and then hands off towards the left, feeling that stretch, drawing the shoulders away from your ears. and release your hands down, back down towards the mat. Sweeping your arms out in front, crawling your fingertips forward, coming up into a tabletop quick, adjusting on the mat, and then crawling your hands farther in front, releasing your chest down towards the floor, hips and knees stay in line for puppy pose. Being aware, making sure you're not dumping into your lower back. Really working into our shoulders, and then we're going to move on to our lower body. Come to rise out of puppy pose into your tabletop, and then send your right knee up by your right hand, kicking your foot off towards the left side, releasing down into a pigeon pose, sitting up tall through your hands. And then maybe releasing down onto your forearms, releasing your head down. Breathing through any areas of tightness and tension. Noticing what comes up for you in this pose. Come to rise out of the pigeon. Back up onto your hands, rising out if you sunk down further. Shifting your weight up and back into your tabletop, sending your right knee back. And then moving into the other side. Left knee drops towards your left hand, kicking your foot off towards the right. Sinking back into your pigeon on this side now. You can stay sitting up tall, or maybe release down onto your forearms. Releasing your head down. Breathing through the tight areas. Noticing how this feels on this side versus the other side. Breathing through the uncomfy areas. And start to rise out of your pigeon, pressing into your hands, sending your hips up and back into your tabletop, and then releasing down on towards your back. You can flip over onto your side, gently roll down onto the back. Knees bend, feet planted in towards the mat, and then drawing your right ankle on top of your left for figure four. You can stay here with your left foot on the mat or pick up your foot, drawing your hands around your shin or maybe behind your left thigh, hugging everything in. Feeling the stretch. Maybe rocking a little back and forth if your leg is kicked up. Notice how that changes things. Unclasp your hands if they are clasped. Release your foot down, other side. Right foot is planted into the mat, knees bent. Left ankle draws on top of your left, right thigh. And then clasp your hands around your shin or behind your thigh. If picking your leg up is too much, you can leave it planted into the mat. Doing whatever is best for you in your practice today. Still or maybe 
maybe a rock came back and forth. And then release your hands. Unwind your legs, keeping your knees bent, your feet in the sky. And then make some circles with your knees, drawing them together and then pulling them apart. Together and apart, making some gentle circles. Using your hands on top of your knees to help guide. And then moving them in the other direction. Some circles. Notice how this direction feels. And then draw your knees together in towards your chest bringing your feet up towards the sky, and then draw your hands towards the soles of your feet for a happy baby. If your hands and feet don't touch, you can always bring your hands towards your ankles or maybe your calves, wherever it's comfortable for you. If your back is flat, you can rock your back side to side getting some more fluid movement in, moving with your body and what feels good for you today. Coming back to your center, release your legs long, draw your hands off towards the side, snuggling your shoulders down and back and beginning to close your eyes for our final resting pose together, or Shavasana. Taking some nice deep breaths in through the belly, filling up into the chest. Noticing how you feel now towards the end of class versus at the beginning. You can stay here for as long as you would like. Or when you're ready, start to shift your weight off towards the side, pressing into your hand, finding your way into a seat. You can keep your eyes closed or maybe start to blink them open if you would like. Draw your hands together in front of your heart, palms to touch, releasing your forehead down towards your fingertips, sealing in the end of our practice and the end of our time together. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our class today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this class down below and any other classes you would like to see from me in the future. And with that, I can't wait to see you on the mat next time.